Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers the employee setup in AMS payroll. Each payer can support up to 9,999 employees. This tutorial includes the employee's general and status information, live payroll parameters, optional information, memo and the ACA settings. At this point the payer has been created and the payer's information has been entered. At the main menu, select AMS Payroll. Highlight the payer and click OK. In AMS Payroll, select Input. When editing or adding employees, the following screen will display. An employee image can be added by saving the photo as either a bitmap or JPEG file. The image file will be saved in the payer's directory and the name of the file should be the employee's social security number. Enter the employee's social security number. The social security number must be unique. The program will not allow duplicate social security numbers to be entered. The employee number is optional. Next, enter the employee's name and address, including the city, state and zip. In the address section, if the country is USA, please leave that field blank. If needed enter the department and class codes. Use the memo to enter a short note. For extensive notes on the employee, use the memo tab. Enter the employee's email address and phone numbers. This special code is used when there are over 35 locals, or for state-specific information. Please refer to the program help files for more information. Next enter the hourly pay rates, if applicable. Once the employee's general information is entered, select the Status Information tab. The Status Information is used to define various items for each individual employee. In the General section, select the employee type. Either, 941, 942 or 943. In the General section, select the employee type. Either, 941. 942 or 943. Next, select either W2, 1099 or both. Make the other selections, in the general section, as needed. Use the tax exempt section, to change the employee's tax status. The default status is non-exempt. The tax exempt section has four selections, exempt, non-exempt, exempt before and exempt after. If exempt before or after is selected, you will be able to enter an applicable date. The other info section, is used to enter employee information such as, date hard and birth date. Click enable, to use the credit wage section to enter credit wages for FICA and FUTA wages. The contractor section, is enabled when the employee is marked as a 1099 employee and contractor is selected in the officer field. Enter the contractor information as needed. For more information on the screen, click the help button or hit F1. Click the live payroll parameters tab. This screen is optional, and only needed if the program is to calculate the federal, state and local income withholding tax, on the employee's paychecks. In the top section, select the pay frequency. Options include, weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly, quarterly and annual. Marital status selections are married or single. Enter the number of federal exemptions. If greater than 9, use alpha characters. For example A equals 10, B equals 11 and so on. X is used to indicate the federal income tax is calculated as a percentage. It is not based on the tax tables. The percentage will be entered in the federal add-on tax field. If the employee would like additional federal income tax amount, withheld, enter the fixed dollar amount here. If X is entered in the federal exemptions, then enter a percentage amount for calculating the federal withholding tax. Next enter a minimum wage rate if it is more than the federal or state minimum wage. Otherwise, leave it at zero. 
If an employee's minimum cash rate is greater than the federal and state minimum cash rate, enter it here. Otherwise leave it at zero. The cash pay rate field indicates the pay rate number to use when calculating the maximum tip credit if it is greater than the federal, state and employee minimum cash rate. For state exemptions, enter a number 0 through 9, or leave blank if this is the same number as federal exemptions. This value is used to calculate state and local withholding when using tax tables. The state dependence field is used for specific state reporting requirements. Leave blank unless applicable to the employee's state. The state and local section is used to define the calculating parameters for the employee's state withholding taxes. The states and locals were set up on the payer's state and local screen. Either double click or click the number on the first blank line. Click the drop down arrow to select the state or local tax information. From the drop down, Select the state that will be used to calculate the state withholding. For the tutorial we are selecting Oklahoma. When the state information was set up, the withholding method was selected as tax table instead of tax rate. If a percentage of wages and tips had been selected, the label would say tax rate and you would enter a percentage rate. We are going to select a state tax table. The state tax tables are included in the program. Click the drop down arrow. For Oklahoma, there are two tax tables available single and married. Select single. The annual exclusion field should only be used if tax rate is the withholding method, since the annual exclusion is built into the tax tables. Enter a period add on tax if the employee wants an additional amount added to the state withholding. Click OK. Repeat this if the employee has multiple state withholdings or if there is any local withholding. Click the Optional Information tab. The Optional Employee Information screen is divided into four sections, Electronic Net Pay Deposits, Alternate Suit Estate, State Credit Wages, and Declining Balances for User-Defined Fields. The Electronic Net Pay Deposits section defines the employee's banking information for direct deposit. They can have up to four bank accounts and the value for each account can be designated as a dollar amount or percentage. The alternate SUDA section is used if the employee's withholding goes to one state but the employee's SUDA should go to a different state. Enter the state credit wages for SUDA, SDI and or other. The declining and inclining balances section is used to track balances for user-defined fields. Examples of tracked user-defined fields, vacation hours earned and vacation hours used. Please refer to the help files for more information on the screen. Click the Memo tab to continue. This screen is used to enter notes regarding the selected employee. The information on this screen is not used in any reports or forms, it is for reference purposes only. Click the ACA tab to continue. This screen is used to enter the employee's ACA information. To add the employee to the covered individuals list, go back to the input screen, select special and then add employee to covered individuals. If eligible, check ACA eligible employee and select the appropriate form either the 1095B or 1095C. In this case, the 1095C form is selected. Click 1095B. Here are the selections for the 1095B form. To edit or add a covered individual for either form, at the bottom of the screen, double click on the line or click the number at the beginning of the row. Enter or edit the information and check the months of coverage. If covered for all months check 12 months. Repeat as needed to enter all covered individuals. Click OK. When exiting the Employee Edit section, you will be prompted to add a default check for the newly added employee. Default checks are useful when an employee has the same field value, 
from paycheck to paycheck. When a paycheck is added any values defined in the default check will automatically display. Click Yes. For example, an employee contributes $50 every paycheck to a 401k plan. If it is entered on the default check and saved, every time a paycheck is entered, its 401k field will automatically be filled in. Click Save to continue. When a check is added the field is automatically filled with the dollar amount. This concludes the employee setup. If you need further assistance on the employee setup, please refer to the program help files. For the purposes of this tutorial, the data, company and employee information, is fictional and is used for demonstration purposes only. For further questions, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Technical support can be reached by email, fax or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 Etc. program. Have a great day.